In this presentation, we will memorize a custom report to a custom report group within QuickBooks Pro 2019. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in the home page. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view drop down and selecting the open windows list. We're going to go ahead and memorize a report. Last time we set up a location where we can memorize that report too. If you want to take a look at how to do that, you can go to the prior presentation and see where to memorize the report too. If you don't do that, there's going to be some default setups for where the report will be memorized. We'll take a look at those settings after we memorize the report here. First, we're going to open our report. We're going to start off with our trustee balance sheet. We'll make an adjustment to that, making a comparative balance sheet, then memorize that report to our custom report group. So we'll start off by going to the reports drop down up top. We're going to go down to the company and financial and then down to our trustee balance sheet standard. We'll change the date in the standard balance sheet to 12-31-19, so December 31st, 2019. Now we're going to make some comparisons or adjustments to this report to customize it. And then we'll save that report or memorize that report. <laughs> so we're going to go to the custom reports up top. We're going to change the date range. I'm going to make the date range for the month of February 2019, which is 02-01-19 to uh, 02 19 so there we have that. So February 1st to February 28th, 2019. And then I'm going to select this previous period down here to give us a comparative balance sheet. So this is just to change the data a bit. So we have something different that we can then memorize. And then we're going to go to the report uh, header and footer. I'm going to remove the time prepared, report basis, printer, header, and footer. I'm going to report remove these three items. And I'm going to say, hey, that's that's my default. When I give reports to someone else, I don't really like to have the time and the date on it that it was generated. I'd rather re remove those. And then we're going to keep our name on it. But we, we now want to call this a comparative balance sheet. And then we can change the dates down here. And we can change the dates to uh, January and February 2019. Something like that for the dates. Also going to remove the date prepared. Let's remove that as well. Okay, so there we have that. Now let's go ahead and just save this information. So here's our comparative balance sheet. Now we want to memorize this report. And as we memorize it, it'll memorize some of the important components, including the format of it and the name and uh, the subheader. Now the subheader is something we may still have to change, but a lot of this stuff will remain what, much the same. So if we want to have a comparative report for a future time period, then the numbers will change, format will remain much the same. So to do that, we would go to the Memorize up top, and then it's saving now as a comparative balance sheet, which is the current name of the report. That's what we want. Now, if we do not customize the report, it will be able to be memorized, and QuickBooks will save it in the default kind of categories. But if we want to put our special category in there, we select the Save in Memorized Reports, and then we can go down and put it into the special category that we had set up, which in our case was Smith, such as a name or something. If we have multiple different people using one file, that's one way that you could start to group the different types of categories. We can also share the template with others, but we're just going to save it here. We're going to say OK. And then it'll give you a kind of a sound of a picture that it saves it. And then if we want to locate this report, I'm going to go ahead and close it. So we X out of it. And then we're going to go to the reports. And you could go to the memorized reports here. So if, if you'd like to select the drop down to Smith and there's our comparative balance sheet, that's one way we can open this up. Or you can use the report center up top and go to the report center and make sure that you're on the correct tab that you want to be. Usually it'll default to the standard, uh, but you, we're here, of course, want to be on the memorized tab. And then here's all of our groups on the left. Most of these, again, are the default groups. It's going to be in alphabetical order. Our group that we set up was Smith, so it's going to be down here, given alphabetical order, and select Smith, and then we can run this report. So if we select the run of this report, we'll get our report here, and this could be a, a lot easier and save a lot of time for us to have similar types of reports that we can then just make some more minor changes 
and not have to, to change the entire report from the base report being, in this case, standard balance sheet. We can do the same kind of information for many different other types of reports. We'll start with the standard, we'll make adjustments to them, and if those are standard adjustments we intend to make periodically, then it's very useful to save those standard adjustments so that we can periodically go back into them and save time with that. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.